What up, YouTube? What up, PlayStation Nation? <clears throat> See your boy Michi Battle over here. Coming at you today to give you a little update. You hadn't seen much from me, because yes, I've been on a media blackout. I have not been creating content, nor have I been watching much content around E3. I just simply don't care for the media right now. But since the event's about to, to happen, I figured I'd come back, show my face, and show you what I'll be doing. Of course, you see Madden gameplay. I will be covering, more or less, the EA section of E3. <clears throat> Most people don't care for EA. They'll tell you they like the 2K football games better. That's fine. Everybody's entitled to their opinion. But I'm a fan of EA. I appreciate the work they put in. And though their games don't hit the top mark in in fun value and gameplay for most people, they offer pretty authentic simulations, <clears throat> and I can appreciate that. Nine out of ten people can't give you a real good drive on Madden anyway. They like to play that fake real video game football, so that's neat to hear nor there. But I'm looking forward to the EA conference. I'm looking forward to what they have to in store. I don't foresee any new innovations, anything completely, totally new, like groundbreaking, revolutionary. Nah, 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 not nah, EA. They not gonna do that. And why should they? People don't appreciate them. Why give you innovative, groundbreaking technology in a video game when you just go knock it anyway? Uh, but I am curious to what changes they're gonna add to the game. Uh, what minor adjustments they're going to make. Hopefully they'll make the the whole coverage for the receivers and the defensive back, the whole hand fighting and all that. Hopefully that changes the game. Because there's some stuff you can get away with on, on Madden. That's ridiculous. Uh, I look for better rebounding in live. Um, also, I look for... I'm actually really excited about the the females in FIFA so I just have a lot that I'm looking forward to a uh, lot that they could bring I was hoping they would show something like WNBA and NBA Live keep my fingers crossed because uh, the WNBA needs some, some traction and what better traction than to be in a video game you know I know they're not good enough to have their own game <clears throat> but Maybe with a little boost from EA, they'll get a little popularity. I know people love to dunk on the game with Brittany Griner, so whatever can happen, if EA can help them out, it will be appreciated. It's good for the game. It's good for the sport. And, uh, yeah, I'm just looking forward to, to what's next. Honestly, this is probably my most exciting part of the thing. I know that Sony and Microsoft will both be showing new new games and new technologies they have. The, and that's going to happen anyway. I'm excited for that. Like, I'm excited more for Project Morpheus than any games that they're going to show because Project Morpheus is the new technology that's coming with the next gen. You know, if I want to play a video game, I can play a video game anywhere. I can play video games on my cell phone. Matter of fact, most cell phone games are coming to these next-gen consoles. So, I'm just looking forward to what's next. <laughs> and uh, for EA, same thing applies. I'm looking forward to what's next. Show me these baby steps we're going to take to get to the the next level of of EA's gaming and I'll be satisfied <laughs> and again I'll say this for those people expecting groundbreaking new innovations from EA don't you don't support them enough why should they invest that much in a product that, that you won't invest in give you the same stuff you've been nickel and diamond and buying all these years and you'll be happy because you don't expect them to, but you still pay them. And uh, let's see what the, the people that buy the games they want have in store and what the people who get their games with EA Access can't expect. 
EA, don't let us down. <laughs> We're expecting very big little things from you. And uh, we know that you can make this happen. I'm about to head out and uh, do something with my life. Something important, hopefully. But I'll leave you with a little bit of gameplay. <laughs> but yeah, if it sounds like uh, I'm not really excited to be back, it's because I'm still on Media Blackout. And I shouldn't be making this video, but I did want to let you know that I'll be covering E3. At least the, e, the, the EA section of it. It's your boy Michi Battle. And I wasn't really here. And that being said, I'm not. Enjoy the rest of this drive. And uh see you guys later. He's taken down at the twenty-three. It's third down coming up. What a drive this has been. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. Baldwin's brought down after picking up eleven on this play. You talk about controlling the flow of the game. Another first down, and the drive keeps on going. Yeah, why not? The defense, they're just sitting over there. They're taking the hits and not even fighting back. Oh, it's a terrible job by the defense. Lynch picks up about two. Second down coming up. Mounting a serious drive. Marching down the field and taking their time. Back to the ground. Touchdown. Good job on that touchdown. That puts them ahead. And it's always, of course, better to be ahead than behind. The Seahawks now lined up for the extra point. The point after is good.